No rest for the weary. <laughs> we just scored two curio cabinets off of Marketplace. And we're taking one of them to the booth. The other one, James, has got to tweak a little bit. And one of them, we're, I cleaned it up and we're taking it. So that's good. And then when he gets the other one fixed up. We'll add to it. Yeah, which, whew, thank goodness, because we need some storage over there, some display space, which is a good problem, James. It's a good problem. Yep. <laughs> Got our little sidekick, our little ma mascot. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but man, it's a chilly, dreary fall day. We wanted to just. I wanted to stay in pajamas and robe all day. And you ended up cracking the whip to make me work. I, I see how this is. I did. You get the day <laughs> off, I get to work. What? I'm working with I you. you <laughs> I'm working too. Really, James? I am busy spending your money. Mm -hmm. I am working. Right. <laughs> Buster, what do you think about all this? You people is crazy. I just lay down at the food bowl and I get food. We gotta what go get him some food. We out. We do it when we out. All right. This is what our curio looks like. Much better now that we have this, and then when we get the other one fixed, we'll put it here. It'll look good, huh? We're selling some stuff. I need to like to put some stuff up here. And I'll come in Tuesday and do a little more work. Okay. All right. That looks better. I'm much happier with that. All right. intentions of staying home today because I was gone all day yesterday hence the new do I love it um but I got I, every night I get a little report to tell me what the booth is sold you know how, what I how much I'm sold and what items sold and we sold several things yesterday which y'all I am not complaining this is such a good problem to have but that means I've got to get out and go try to find some stuff so we're going to the thrift store. So let's just see what I can come up with, y'all. I just, this is blowing my mind. But you know what? I was just reminding myself, this is what happens when God's in it, you know? So let's go thrifting. Let's go thrifting. I'm taking y'all inside the thrift store with me. And we go to a couple different stores in this one. But y'all, I spotted this. And I wanted to buy it, not because I wanted it for myself, but I wanted to make it over. It was $3.99, and I stood there, and I really thought about it, but I ultimately left it, but I really wanted to give it a makeover. I was looking. This is one of my favorite aisles to go down. Usually, you can find just hidden treasures sometimes. Not every time, but that's just with thrifting, but this is the aisle where I found some priceless treasures on <laughs> some ironstone before, and I really love this aisle. And then I like to look over at the potch because you just never know what you're going to find. And I am looking for my mom, um, a slow cooker like mine. She's needing one. I thought these were enamelware, but they're glass. $3.99. They were cute, though. And I did pick up this enamel pot, but I didn't know if it was authentic or not. Like, if it was, like, vintage. I'm really, I, I guess I need to educate myself on all that, but anyway... And then I'm just trying to show y'all some different things, not just necessarily things that I would always buy. But, I mean, I know we all like different things, so I'm just trying to show y'all these. 
And now these I probably would have purchased for my booth, but they wanted $10 a piece, y'all. I mean, really? There's no way that I could really justify that and marking them up, so I left them. But I swear, these thrift stores, they forget their thrift stores, in my opinion. But I'm fixing to show y'all a piece that kind of took me back to the 80s and see if y'all agree with me. <laughs> but this sign here just reminded me of the 80s. <laughs> oh man, the 80s. What a good time that was. But I thought this was a cute little sign. It was $3.99. I'm trying to get the prices where y'all can see them, but sometimes it's hard and I just like, my brain thinks faster than my hands and oh, I do my best, but... I like to step back and kind of look at the shelves and just see if anything really just catches my attention. Um, but I don't know what I thought these were. I don't even know why I picked them up. But again, you know, trying to show different things, not necessarily just everything that I would purchase. But y'all see that crate down there? I'm fixing to show you it up close. That is a hearth and hand. So that is what Target there's no telling what this actually costs at Target, but they were wanting $6.99 for this. I thought that was a really good price. I just absolutely have no place for it, but I was racking my brain trying to think of what to get. Y'all, do y'all remember these? I think everybody had these in their house at one time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all remember like home interiors used to be that time's version of Hobby Lobby. Like everybody had their house decorated with home interiors. And me and my mom laugh about it because we're like, yeah, back then that was like Hobby Lobby is these days, you know, everybody just had their house done up in home interiors. And those are the good old days. Well, they were to me. I don't know about to y'all, but now I'm at a different thrift store. This is the one in Biloxi. I picked this up. I thought this was cool. It was $3.99. And I couldn't tell. I think it's wood. But, y'all, they've gotten so good that sometimes it's hard to tell if it's wood or resin. I couldn't really decide 100% for sure. But, anyway, I was just going to kind of look down these aisles. These shelves were full. Uh, the American Thrift Store in Biloxi has been, really, been being really full here lately. Lots of good stuff. This reminded me of the 80s. Now, look, if y'all hear some snorting and grunting and snoring going on, Buster's beside me snoozing. He is so wore out from yesterday. He spent the day with my mom, and he played with Bebe and Toby. Toby is my dad's little schnauzer, and y'all know Bebe, of course. I've had Toby on here before, too, but, uh, yeah, he was wore out keeping them girls in line, making sure they knew he was, he was the man, you know what I mean? But, y'all, I'm looking for some sugar fruit. Um, still looking for some of that. And I like looking on this shelf here. Sometimes you'll see some treasures that sneak in. And this piece right here, y'all, I picked it up and looked at it. And as I was checking out, the lady behind me actually picked this piece up. She was buying it. It was really pretty. Mm -hmm. Do y'all think I brought it home? What do y'all think? I like it. I probably brought it home. Did I bring it home? <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to keep on shopping. I don't get a whole lot of footage in this store because if the aisles were kind of full and I had some people behind me like, get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> so I was trying to be courteous and film and, you know, and then I get distracted, but I'm doing the best that I can. I do hope that y'all are enjoying these thrift with me's. Um, I'm trying to bring y'all in a little bit more frequently. I know that I enjoy seeing this kind of stuff. And so, um, I just kind of want to include y'all too. I didn't understand what necessary room meant, but that was definitely from the 80s. Did y'all see that blue? <laughs> oh, y'all, I'm fixing to show y'all a piece. I'm fixing to pick it up. This right here, I tried to open it, but I couldn't get it open. And I didn't even see how much it was. Anyway, saw this frame. I thought, hmm. I've seen better days, so I just set that back real quick, like, and just kept looking and just seeing what all I can find. You just never know what treasure is going to be waiting for you on these shelves.
All right, y'all. I am going to share my thrift haul with y'all. I'm very excited about it. Um, and I can't wait to share it. So let's just get started. So yesterday I was in Loosedale. I had to get my hair done and all that fun stuff. But I had a few minutes to kill. So I ran into the Goodwill and y'all are not going to believe what I found and how much I paid. Oh, I'm just blown away. So they had this beautiful bowl ironstone bowl at the Goodwill. And what do you think I paid for this? Did you say $1.99? $1.99 for this ironstone bowl. Y'all know I wasn't leaving it, right? You knew that. Anyway, this is the bottom of it. I love it. I'm not real sure exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet, but... Anyway, for $1.99, I wasn't leaving it. So, that's all I picked up yesterday. Um, then today, I went to two thrift stores, the one in Ocean Springs and the one in Biloxi. I did not even bother going into the Goodwill. I'm just so aggravated at them. I was just like, I just didn't even go. Anyway, so the one in Ocean Springs, I didn't find anything. You know, nothing just like jumped out at me. And it was kind of like, I don't even know if I want to go to Biloxi, but boy, am I glad I did because of all the things I found. So, let me just share with you what I got. I have come up with the idea that I want to do the sugared fruit on my tree this year. And look what I found, y'all. Some pears and strawberries and three more pears. Now, I spent $3.99 for each pack but I think I'm really good now on the the sugared fruit so um yeah I was real excited about it so I grabbed that for myself um let's see and I think that everything else is pretty much for the booth but I'm gonna share with you what I got so I picked this up this cute little cup it's made in England I want to say this is Johnson Brothers I could be wrong about that but I want to get one of those little bottle brush trees and put in here and put that in the booth for sale. I just think it'll be so cute for Christmas. A little way to use some vintage teacups. I found this crock. Look at this. I'm going to be putting this in the booth. It just needs to be cleaned up. But I thought it was so cute. How cute would this be with a Christmas tree in it? Okay, and then I picked this up, this pottery bowl. This is a hobbyist piece, I'm most sure. Um, I'm gonna put it in the booth too, because again, how cute would this be with a Christmas tree? <gasps> okay, so I have two bagged items that I picked up for the booth. This is the first one. I just thought these were beautiful. And so I picked these up. I'll be putting them in the booth. How pretty are these? They're not gorgeous. Perfect for somebody's bathroom. Oh my goodness. I just love them so much. I don't need them or I would definitely keep them. So I've grabbed those. And then I have brass candlesticks. But these are the smaller ones. And I just thought they were so cute. Like the perfect size. Look at that. How cute are those? So I'm going to stick these in my booth as well. They don't have the made in Taiwan or made in India sticker, but they're heavy. So I'm pretty sure they're brass. They got the patina on them. So grab that. And then I grabbed two oil lamps. For the booth how beautiful are these and they actually had them priced separately because they were in separate locations the globes and the lamps were in separate locations so i put them together when i went to check out i told her i said well they're priced separately she said they shouldn't be and so she just charged me you know one price for each and i just love them um so, these are definitely going in the booth. I just think they'll be so beautiful. And 
yeah, that is it. That is my thrift haul. It's not huge, but oh my gosh, it packs a punch, right? Um, as far as this ironstone bowl, I just, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I just don't know. I really, really don't know, but um, I was, for $1.99, I wasn't leaving it. But dishes don't really sell well in my booth, so... Um, I'm finding that dishes are not like a hot item for the booth, so I don't know. We'll see, but that was my thrift haul, so now I'm fixing to go in there. I've got to edit today's devotional. I've got to um, edit, start editing this video, and you know, just life. I'm cooking, cleaning, doing some laundry, all that fun stuff, so yeah, I will just catch up with y'all in just a little bit. What am I going to do with you? Oh my goodness. Can you get any cuter? <laughs> Can you get any cuter? Oh. I get up to go get the laundry out of the dryer. And he's since moved over to where I was sitting on the couch. <laughs> my goodness. You're so handsome. Yeah, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Buster. Buster. You're so handsome. <laughs> um, oh, he does not like you touching his lip. He does not like his paws touched. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I quit harassing you. My goodness. My goodness. He's such a good looking boy. He's such a sweet boy. <laughs> he snorts worse than a pig, y'all. He's right. Are you rotten, bub? <laughs> Is that guilt on your face? Are you right? <laughs> oh, I love you. I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a kitty. I'm a kitty. <laughs> oh, giving me sugies. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. <laughs> you're so funny. You're like a little bat. You're like a little bat. Tell me to stop. <laughs> You're so precious. You bring your mommy so much joy. You do. You bring me so much joy. I love you. 